Welcome to Puerto Plata, a small beach town on the northern coast of the Dominican Republic. Today we're going to be exploring the city, having some great food, and taking in the culture. And what better way to do that than to get a Dominican Republic haircut? I am in bad need of one, as you can see, and that is the first thing on our list. Let's go do it. Buena. Abierto? Claro, sí, entra. claro, gracias. Aire con este calor, el no. After inviting us to come inside and enjoy the air conditioning, we agreed on 300 pesos or about five and a half dollars plus tip for the haircut. Adiós. 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 <laughs> One thing that Rika and I have realized is that getting a haircut while traveling is an absolutely excellent way to meet locals. Thank you very much. Thank you For at least 15 minutes, you and the barber are stuck together, but in a good way. They're almost always friendly locals, happy to chat with you and learn where you're from, and there's no shortage of things to talk about. Mi primer corto de pelo en la República Dominicana. ¿En serio? Sí. Oh. Viniste, viniste a una buena peluquería. Claro, lo veo, claro. Buenas manos. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> you have to know something. Okay. The people here are smiling every time because for the song uh -huh. or to have nothing yeah. to do, uh -huh. you know? It's just complication but yeah. it's natural. Good, good, yeah. good. The people are happy. Yeah. Throughout belly laughs and a bachata dancing demonstration. <laughs> he not only cut my hair, but shaved my face and chin with a straight razor, cut my nose hairs. Manos de oro. Yeah. De plata. Plata de Puerto Plata. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh. De Puerto Plata. <laughs> Trimmed the edges of my eyebrows and gelled my hair all the way back. It was the most all-inclusive haircut I have ever had, and the entire experience was another of the many instances where Rika and I have been touched by the warmth and loveliness of the local Dominican people. Uh, okay, Dominican haircut done, and this has to be one of the most unique ones that I've ever gotten. Yeah. I feel like I'm in like a 80s mafia <laughs> movie right now with the gel. <laughs> One of my favorite ones, experiences that I've had getting a haircut in any country. I was thinking the same thing and I never get haircuts. <laughs> There's a game of dominoes right here. But we want to play, but we don't know how to, how to play. Dominoes is a very common game here in the Dominican Republic. You see locals playing them in bars and beside streets everywhere throughout the different cities. They take the game very seriously and they play their turns with true force, sometimes knocking over the entire board. They literally write the scores on the wall <laughs> with chalk. Now it was Wyatt and my turn to play, but there was a catch. If we lost, we had to buy the next round of beers. Yep. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Wyatt won the first round. I won the first round. 27. But Damn. I won the next yeah. three in a row, and after going over 75 points, was officially the day's champion. Hey, one! Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias a todos. Ha sido un placer. To a local competitor's relief, we didn't make him buy us a beer and said our goodbyes. The Domino's game was such an unexpected part of the day and ended up being one of my favorite parts of the trip. You won! <laughs> You won! I won in their turf. You better watch out if you're playing me in dominoes. Oh, Rika is coming for you. That was awesome. That was really cool. Favorite, favorite, 
thing so far is me winning. <laughs> I don't know. The tents were pretty cool. The too. tents were cool. Um, definitely going to be a highlight, though. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. Let's go get food. Yes, let's get food. Food on you, because I won. Are you ever going to let this go? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. So. Hold on, why not? place looks super cute. Let's figure out what we're gonna get. Is it okay to get like pasta and a hamburger at a Dominican <laughs> style restaurant? All right, my sliders came. So good. Really? Yeah. Oh, gracias. Algo más? Ya está, perfecto. Si, sí, gracias. I need to get my veggies today, so I got a veggie wrap. I know, really Dominican. Really good. They mix fresh lettuce with grilled veggies. We should try cooking this. It's just a tortilla. With a ton of grilled veggies, but fresh lettuce. Usually we put the lettuce in, but I think keeping it separate is a really good move. We're gonna split some uh, penne salted pasta with broccoli. Looks really good. Mm. Pretty good. Salted pasta. Nice to get our veggies, the broccoli, yes. yes. Trap. They even have garlic bread on the side. It's so good. I think our plates speak for themselves. 10 out of 10 would recommend this place. Yeah. Let's see the bill. Cool, and that wraps up the meal. It was 1,500 pesos, which is about 27 or 28 US dollars. Yep, it was a total success. And this is where we're gonna end the video. If you guys wanna continue on with our journeys, make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to like this video. If you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it. Bye guys. Peace out.